everyone. I'm Miss Jones and I'm so excited that you are joining me today to practice yoga. First, make sure that you take your shoes and socks off and you've gone to the bathroom. Next, create a space where you can move your body. Now, this space can be a place that you come to practice being calm. First, let's do a little wiggle. Ready? Wiggle, 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 stop. Wow, that was some great wiggles. Let's do it one more time. Wiggle, 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 stop. Sometimes my mind has a lot of wiggles in it. I think about what do I have to do later or I'm hungry. Maybe I have a lot of work to do. Now when your mind gets like that, you can come to your spot to think about how you can be calm. First, let's start with breathing. Notice the air going in and out of your body. I like to think about smelling a flower to help me breathe. Breathe in and smell your flower. One, two, three, and exhale. Sometimes when I exhale, I think about blowing out candles on my birthday cake. Breathe in, smell the flower. Exhale, blow out your candles. Breathe in, smell your flower. Exhale, blow out your candles. Now, let's be birds. Bring your wings out for flying bird breath. Ready? Let's fly. Inhale, wings up. And exhale, wings are lowering down. Inhale, wings up. And exhale, lower your arms back to your knees. How do you feel now? Are some of the wiggles gone in your, in your thoughts? I feel a little bit more calm. Let's start some more yoga poses now. Bring your hands behind you for boat pose. Lift your feet off the floor, creating a balance. Imagine your flying bird flying high above your boat. Maybe lift one hand up and hold the back of your knee. And you can stay here without rolling back. You can bring your hands to your sides and release to the floor. This time we'll bring our hands in front of us and come up to our knees for table pose. Try making a flat table so you can put an imaginary book. I have a real book here. I'm gonna place it on my table. Now take your book off and we're going to inhale and exhale for cat pose. Round your back, look at the floor. Now come back to table. Inhale through the nose. Bring your belly to the floor for cow pose. Come back to cat pose. Think about the sound cats make. I have a cat. He goes meow. Now drop your belly. Come back to cow pose. What kind of sounds do cows make? Moo. Now come back to table. We're going to tuck our toes, lift our knees off the mat, press your bum to the sky for dog pose. This is, a, this is to strengthen your arms and stretch the back of your legs. Now I know dogs love to go for walks. Bend one knee, lifting your heel, and then the other and walk your dog. I think your dog is very happy right now. Lift one leg behind you and wag its tail. 
Place that foot back down. Lift the other foot and wag the tail this way now. What kind of sound does a dog make? <laughs> now walk your feet to your hands so they're together. And you can give your feet a little tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Slowly start to rise up to standing, bringing your head up last and create a strong mountain. I think your flying bird is flying around this mountain right now. Now fly up high to the very top of the mountain. Exhale and come back down. Bring your hands to your hips feel like a superhero. You are strong. Now step your feet out wide and turn one foot to the side. It's time to go down to the ocean. And when you're at the ocean, I think it's a good time to go surfing. Turn your toes and bend your knees to come to surfer pose. Now I think the waves sometimes push you along, but you can try and stay balanced. Bring your hands back to your hips, turn your toes, and now go the other way. Turn your toes outwards, bend your knee, and let's catch one more wave to go surfing. I think the bird also has fun down at the ocean. Now, bring your hands back to your hips, and this time, hop your feet together. Now, we will do tree pose. This is a balancing pose where you have to balance on one foot. Lift one foot and place your foot either above or below your knee. Or you can have it right at your ankle so you can have the floor to stabilize you. What always helps is setting your gaze, looking at something that's not moving right in front of you. And this can help you stay focused. Release that foot and switch sides. Bring your other foot up, above or below your knee. It's okay to fall out if you've fallen out. Balancing poses in, in yoga is for is to help you to focus. But you do not have to be perfect. Falling out is, is normal. Play around with it. Now bring your foot back down. Come back to mountain. Inhale, go back to your tall mountain. Exhale and dive down. Bring your fingers to your toes. Now start bending your knees to sit down on your mat. Come to lie all the way down on your mat. And bring your legs and your arms up to the sky. Let's do one more wiggle. Ready? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stop. Bring your arms down. Keep your legs up. You just created a waterfall. Imagine water running from your feet all the way down your leg. Bring your legs back down to the mat and straighten them forward. I want you to come all the way to lie down like you're going to bed. But before you go to bed, squish your, your face together. Squish, 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 like it's a raisin. And, and release. Completely relax in this relaxation pose. Start imagining becoming lighter. Maybe you are lifting up to the clouds. 
Once you get there, look around. Do you see any friends or family? Now come back down to earth and go to a special place, a place that you really love. Maybe you're imagining the beach or the mountain or that you're with your family. Now start to wiggle your toes and your fingers to wake up. Roll to your side. And slowly come back up, keeping your eyes closed to a seated position. Sitting crisscross, hands on your knees. How did you feel in your special place today? Open your eyes. What was your favorite part of today's yoga practice? You can teach it to a friend or a family member. You can keep a journal in your calm space and you can draw a picture or write about it. Another thing that I have in my calm space is a coloring book. If I ever feel like I need some quiet time to myself or I need to get away from technology, I, I come over here. I can either practice yoga or color or journal. We are all in our own space, but we are still connected by the MET community. Thank you so much for joining me today. Goodbye.